I'm working as a speech solution architect at Nyani. I started at Nyani uh, uh, six years ago, straight out of the college. When you try to explore, your founders always support you in terms of resources. Even now, until after seven, six years, still they have the same support in terms of trust and also on the resources for exploration. There is not restriction that you should do this and only this part needs to be improved. They have given like a task that this has to be the product expectation, but they have given a free hand in terms of how we are going to solve that problem. The main problem in India, at least, is a multilingual problem. See, uh, whenever we talk to the people, we have a challenge of having uh, language as a barrier across the different states and people. We try to solve it using uh, different speech recognition models across different languages. Anything uh, which is related to native language speakers, we were able to do it. Right now, the, uh, the, at least the speech part is beginning to get into a commodity. So initially, when we started six years ago, not much companies had uh, speech recognition engine at all. All the big tech companies had it, but others were feeling difficult to build uh, ASR engines because it is too expensive. What we are trying to see in the market is value-added services, which we need to give to the customer. It's not just basic ASR, we are processing it, giving out the results, it doesn't work like that. We are trying to give analytics on that and try to build uh, results and maybe give suggestions to the customer. It is like a clear view from the supervisor point of view. So that devil deep analytics has been given from Nani's product. Nani is giving free ends for exploration. To explore in MNCs, they will have you, you will be given a specific set of roles that you have to do only this chunk or the part of the project. You will not be given the full overview of the project. It can be like, for example, uh, if you start with a project, then you should know the end-to-end -end of the whole project and you should know what is your core part in that project. How is it impacting the final end product or the final delivery of the project? So that is a added advantage at Nyani. They gave you the full view what is happening. So having a clear view will give me an advantage to learn and understand how much I can improve, what all it is failing for, and how, how can I improve it further. I need not care about the customer experience if I am in MNC. But now, if I am building something, I should also take care of customer experience, and I should also take care of the business advantage. So all the angles of the product will be seen at the developer stage itself. That is what my career advantage is at Nyani. I was actually uh, jumping across teams. Even though my specific role was as a speech engineer, I had to involve in DevOps, I had to involve in migration. So it is like more than the depth, I was given opportunities to learn across the spectrum. You have to understand the whole delivery pipeline. So what is your impact in that? So initial few days might be tough, but if they stick on for some time and I'll try to struggle to understand, they will have a better view. So it is a learning for them more than the company. They should have interest to learn. That is the main expectation at the end.